Hello my dear friends and welcome again to Adventure Story Channel videos. Today my dear friends we will talk about uh, the, the teamwork on board the vessels and uh, not only the vessels you can be also uh, on the oil rig you can be uh, in any environment which is uh, industrial it's not only limited uh, on the vessel itself but uh, I have seen that this model of the vessel that we have on board uh, it's really uh, efficient it work fine and uh, we have seen that a lot of goals have been achieved uh, through this time uh, I would like to share with you that knowledge so you are able to know that it's really important that when we looking back of our, our background where we have started and uh, how the things are progressing it's really important to realize and see back again and also uh, deliver that information to the new generations that are assigned in certain roles uh, in the marine environment or in industrial environment first of all uh, as you will be uh, as apprentice uh, engineer or deck a deck for sure you will see different approaches to uh, any problem and any issues that created on board uh, the multiple tasks that you will have to accomplish uh, will not only include uh, the physical load but also the load of the knowledge that is existing within the team but really important is to know and uh, you take in account that the overall team itself will be able to deal with all that issues much better when everybody feels uh, each other a, as a part of the, the team and have uh, certain goals to achieve so uh, the apprentice engineer goal will be the help to the third engineer and the third engineer will need to accomplish the goal of the second engineer and the second engineer will need to accomplish the goal of the chief engineer and the chief engineer will need to accomplish the goal of captain and this is also how it works uh, from the deck side and that's why we are directed to a specific goal what is the goal uh, on the vessels on board or in, in the industry first of all is uh, the safety then it's uh, the security the cargo itself for sure the maintenance and there is uh, different factors that really play its role which is also uh, the well-being of the crew the health of the crew and also uh, the importance that they're feeling uh, valued through the time and what they are uh, provide through their services and through um, through the experience that also improves uh, the status of uh, the company that they are working for so um, why I would like to stand uh, on the point that is really important uh, to be on board as a team because it gives you the feeling and to understand how important is all that steps that you are delivering each day and uh, from my side looking uh, that I have worked in different companies also uh, how it started and how you start to realize yourself uh, within uh, the industry and within all the things that happen uh, through the time it's really nice to see uh, after certain years where you can drive and when you can um, make the steps further and how you see uh, yourself within the industry that's really uh, incredible for sure uh, each one of you you will have uh, different goals but the main objectives that you are making in the daily life uh, can be also 
the same objectives, how you set and how, how you work uh, through your uh, daily uh, activities. So that is uh, really important how you approach and how you have learned uh, to approach uh, the issues. So there is different models. We cannot say that this model is better than the other. Uh, the most appropriate model is uh, what you are feeling uh, much better to deal with and uh, the way you are dealing with that. But the most important is, and I would like to stand to that, is the communication. And a lot of issues can be resolved when the communication is uh, as much as possible direct. Um, the communication must be also clear what we would like to say and also it must be appropriate so it must be delivered this way that uh, the people will be uh, understand it easy and also um, to get in the point as much as possible and also the way as how it's delivered its place also role so uh, being on board or being in some location uh, first of all for sure uh, there is a lot of demand to do different things uh, different uh, issues can happen but most important is to deal uh, with safety uh, as a first step because uh, this is where everything starts in, in case in the event that uh, there will be a damage or uh, some person injured so you will not able to complete your second or third step and that's why I would like uh, to stay on that that even one thing that you are accomplished per day it's enough uh, maybe somebody from you will request 10 things but uh, we have to uh, stay together during the daily meetings and to, to see and realize is that really feasible and is that really necessary to accomplish all that 10 goals in one day uh, by compromising uh, the safety issues and also uh, the well-being of uh, the people on board so for me it will be to much better to make one two things for a day to be much better uh, rest and also much better uh, feeling that you have accomplished something you are not over stressed over tired and then you have the power to progress for the next uh, period because the sea environment can uh, give you a different kind of surprises and we have seen also different weather conditions uh, different weather, uh, different uh, ships set up as well and then there can be a lot of machineries on board as well uh, almost 150 equipment is there, a lot of piping and always there is surprises so it's better to prepare yourself it's better to be uh, let's say proactive in all the activities that you are doing on board and also that has to do with the equipment maintenance it has to do with the daily uh, activities be always proactive so when you're arriving in the port you have to do as much as possible less things so you'll be focused on all the activities that you are doing so being focused on what you're doing will reduce any consequences and any mistakes and we know that uh, the demand from uh, nowadays have also increased there is a lot of inspections uh, there is uh, discharging operations or loading operations there is a lot of tests a lot of uh, let's say annual tests or five-year tests there can be also maintenance combined banking operations or some drills and also port state control so uh, that has increased really really huge so that's why the preparation that we are doing starts um, can be can start month before or uh, let's say some weeks before arrival and that's how uh, the load will be 
uh, distributed equally from all the phases and all uh, let's say time frame at the end you'll be able to sustain it is uh, for sure difficult uh, to do that and that's why uh, it shows that a good planning really helps to that a good uh, a maintenance system also uh, it's helpful but it's also uh, very important from uh, the senior officers to recognize that not everything can be done and uh, that is one of the things that also i have learned there is some things that we cannot uh, affect that is true we can affect the most of the things but we cannot affect all of them so for example to give you an uh, example we cannot uh, interact with the sun and the motion of the earth how, how it's turning so it will turn even we want even we we don't want <laughs> let's say for example so there is some things yes it, it is as it is we have to take it uh, in consideration but the things that we can do we can uh, rest our people let's say we can uh, have a better behavior with them that really plays a really big role to the entire team and shows that your interest uh, on their welfare and also this shows a good uh, behavior and plays a vital role for uh, the entire team to be feeling uh, as a part of it so no one is excluded everyone is included uh, the communication roles and that's why it's really really uh, beneficial and boost the performance of uh, the people in this way you will have much better and efficient a crew and a team uh, than doing uh, some other things and have uh, bad communication let's say or just press them press and uh, do not give them the freedom that is necessary for sure there is cases that need some additional attention but the most important thing is to trust the people that we are working with um, I know that uh, it was a while since we I made a video I would like from you also uh, to ask to share the videos to like them also because uh, most of the videos is made it for you and also to improve your knowledge there is nothing to hide uh, it's always uh, the information uh, should be uh, easy uh, accessible and uh, one thing that I would like to you from you also to ask if you can make some proposal for uh, the material I saw in the past yes you was interacting um, a lot but uh, also that will be uh, really good uh, to see also now um, I have made also a, a content about the diesel generator and I would like to see uh, how you would like also to um, interact with that and also I would like to tell you that there is no perfect engineer for sure we will be somewhere uh, much better in some uh, points in the other points we will be worse but this is how the team will combine together and help each other to uh, levitate in upsides and also in downsides and uh, I'm really thankful that you are here on this channel um, also uh, recognize the value that also the videos provide for you and also your feedback it's really important uh, to know that you have seen this value in uh, the real conditions so uh, communicate properly uh, value your crew and uh, they will deliver as much as possible they will make 
everything uh, for you and they will feel that you are caring for, for them as well and uh, this is uh, how you can progress and develop uh, it's a matter of time only and also to build that experience uh, also to build a plan and a framework and then everything is possible thank you very much uh, for watching stay tuned uh, more videos will upcome more engineering videos more educational videos uh, here in this channel thank you and bye bye from adventures of our channel bye bye mm -hmm.